Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you guys are doing well today. We've been wearing the Rolex Explorer 2 for about six months now, and so I thought we would do a six month update for the time of wearing the Rolex Explorer 2. This is a really phenomenal watch within the grand scheme of Rolex sports watches. And so I wanted to give you my thoughts on how this video wore, the types of things that I, I experienced during the, the last six months of wearing it. And also I wanted this to be sort of a place where you can share your experience with wearing a reference 16570. Um, so be sure to leave comments on, on your experience with the watch. Um, and without further ado, let's flip perspectives so you can see this watch. All right, so it's a little bit of a different format for these videos, but I thought this was a nice way to maybe, um, maybe go over the six months of wearing the Rolex Explorer 2 reference um, 16570. Um, it's a different view, but I thought this might be nice. You can see me. I don't know if you can see my face. Hey guys. Um, you saw me in the intro, but um, so it's been about six months of wearing the 16570, which you can see here. I have this on, on a, a leather strap here. Um, and I thought I would kind of go over some thoughts. So I think the first thing that I, I can talk about is maybe just like how it's been sort of wearing this piece, um, you know, um, in the rotation of watches that I have. I think the first thing that I can say is that this feels like um, a really heavy watch. I know that's a weird thing to say, um, and you're probably laughing at me right now, but it is a heavier watch compared to some of the watches that I'm, I'm used to wearing. But I think for comparison, um, I can pull up this watch here. This is a, a Vacheron Constantin from the 1950s, and as you can see, the size difference between the Vacheron and the, the Explorer 2 is insane. Um, 24 millimeters or 23 and a half millimeters, and then you've got 40 millimeters in the Rolex Explore 2. And so the heft of these watches are very, very different. Um, so I'm a little bit more, I'm used to wearing sort of, um, you know, let's call it 36 millimeter vintage watches. And, and then you go for something a little bit um, more interesting like this, which is an Explore 2 that it has a little bit more heft to it. Um, I think you, one thing that you can also see here is I have it on a leather strap. But obviously I have the bracelet here, which um, I wore a little bit. I think this, again, kind of added a little bit of weight for me, but um, this is such a minor point. I, I, I do, I've worn sports watches previously, and so I know what it feels like to wear a watch on a bracelet or a watch that kind of weighs um, this much. Um, and uh, as far as the bracelet goes, really easy to use. I really love the, the second, this kind of the, the, the flap here that allows for the clasp to, to remain um, remain closed. Um, it's always really nice when you look at your wrist and you're able to see that Rolex logo, so that's kind of nice. Um, very easy to take on and off. Um, the, the, the Explorer 2, this is the K serial. This is a K serial Explorer 2. So it has uh, drilled lug holes, which you can see on the side here. Makes it very easy, um, makes it very easy to, to take these uh, take uh, the bracelet off or mix out mix and match straps um, and makes it extremely um, extremely great for kind of mixing and matching straps like I said but I put it on this leather strap I'm more used to wearing watches on leather straps um, and so I decided to put it on this what's cool about this strap this is um, from Dasari but I, this was given to us by a company called Straps Co it actually has quick release pins on the um, let me see if you can see that but has quick quick release pins so it actually is even easier to take straps on and off which i think is pretty cool um and i think that's maybe sort of why i have some more straps here that you can wear um so the first thing i can talk about is nato's this is obviously a sports watch so it's a watch that um a watch that you can you can put on some 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 more interesting straps on it NATO strap is always a good thing to kind of go to if you are looking to, if you're looking at a, you know, a, um, at a, uh, a sports watch, NATO's always, always look good, really good on it. This one is a black and orange kind of motif. I wish this was a red motif because if you look at the watch, the, um, GMT hand is red on this piece. And so I kind of wish that I could bring out the, the red on that GMT hand with this NATO strap. This was also from Strapsco if you're interested in checking this one out, but um, yeah, I, I really like this combination. I'm also a, a really big fan of rubber straps. This is an Everest uh, black rubber strap, um, and I think this would look really great on this. It gives it another sort of 
understated look um, of this piece, which I think is another kind of point that I want to get into with this with this watch. But like I said, I'm a sucker for rubber straps, so I think rubber straps on any type of watch is always a, a good idea, especially with sports watches. Um, to get into to kind of a little bit more, not so much the the uh, straps that you're going to wear with this about this uh, specific watch. Um, I wanted to get into maybe the complications. So the GMT hand obviously on an Explorer 2 allows you to have a second time zone on the dial of your watch. And then it has a date at three o'clock. As you can see there, there's a Cyclops on the, on the, on the watch itself. And so um, I find the complications extremely useful. Uh, I think the, um, the, the date is obviously going to be extremely useful to use. And then the GMT hand, if you are a traveler, you actually can have a second time zone. So it makes it a little bit easier, but perhaps you have relatives in a second time zone. You can also do that with this watch. Um, like I said, this is the K serial. So it's running on the caliber 3185 movement. Um, it doesn't have a quick set date, which I think is actually something that I wish this watch had. Um, the way that you do it is you basically um, move the hours hand. There's a, there's a setting when you pull out the crown where you can adjust the hours hand. Um, and I kind of wish that I could have a quick set date. Um, I actually dislike using the, the, uh, the hours hand uh, adjuster. It's not, it's just not something I'm used to. And uh, I actually prefer moving forward time, um, using the, the minutes hand and then just having the hours sort of circle, circle forward. Um, a little bit more into the sort of aesthetics of this piece. This is a black dial version of this watch. Obviously the Clora 2 comes in a white gold version as well, or excuse me, a white gold, a white dial um, version as well. But but seriously, I actually really love the black dial. I actually think the white dial has sort of been um, become extremely popular and, and actually um, stands out a little bit too much on the wrist. I wear fairly understated pieces normally, as you can see with this, this is not going to be something that you're going to see on, on, on your wrist, you know. Okay, today I'm wearing a, a Caravelle Diver, um, which is a little bit larger. But I mean, if you put the Vacheron on your wrist, you're, it's going to be a little bit harder to even um, recognize this, this piece, especially because it's going to go straight under my cuff and probably not be shown unless I'm really looking at the, at the time. And so I think the white dial version of the Explorer 2 has kind of become that and people are noticing a little bit more and the black dial feels a little bit more understated and allows you to kind of fly below the radar with some of the pieces that you look that you wear so that's one thing I really like I also wish that the bezel was movable on the Explorer 2 obviously it isn't um, so that's that's something uh, also to note um, but overall I really enjoyed wearing this piece I think the the case size is really nice I will say we, I got a, you know, there's a Rolex Explorer, um, or excuse me, a Rolex Submariner that I, that I had on recently. It was a 14060M. And I have to say the proportions of that watch and the, the case size of the, of the Explorer 2, or of the um, Submariner, are, in my opinion, they fit my wrist a lot better. The Explorer 2 is a little bit um, larger. The crown is obviously smaller, but um, it's a little bit larger and feels not chunky because Rolex watches don't really feel chunky, but this felt chunky comparatively. Um, so I think overall it fits my wrist nicely, but there probably are watches that are going to fit my wrist a little bit better. Even if you look at this Caravelle Diver on my, my wrist, this probably fits a little bit better um, than the Explorer 2. Um, I might as well put this watch on my wrist just to, just to give you an idea of sort of what it looks like, um, you know, on my wrist. Um, but like I said, I think it fits really nicely um, and wears really comfortably on, on, on my on my wrist. So here you go. It's a little wrist shot of the Explorer 2. Really fun fun watch to wear, um, and it's been a great six months um, kind of wearing this this watch. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you have a, a Rolex Explorer 2. I'd love to know your thoughts on 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 wearing it and owning it. Um, like I said, this is a K serial, so if you have a different serial. Um, Explore to let me know what it is and what you think about it. Also, if you wouldn't mind letting me know if you like this uh, format of videos, that would be really helpful. Um, I think this might be a different view uh, for, uh, that we might kind of experiment with a little bit more, um, so that you can you know see some see some more watches um, in this in this format. So I'll flip perspective so we can close out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video where we discussed six months of wearing the Rolex Explorer 2. Like I said, I've had a really great time wearing this watch and um, I hope that 
some of my thoughts will be helpful to you if you are looking to perhaps purchase a Rolex Explorer 2 um, or um, you just wanted to hear some thoughts about another Rolex sports watch. I hope you guys enjoyed the format of this video. It was a little bit different. Um, you know, we did have an intro. We had the main part of the video and the, 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 we're, right now we're doing the kind of um, the final words, but I hope you enjoyed maybe the different angle for, for looking at a watch. Um, let me know in the comments if you if you like that, that, that view and I'll be sure to continue to do that. Um, if you are new to Life on the Wrist, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like uh, these types of videos, videos about watches, it's exactly what we're doing here. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for us for our YouTube analytics. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and until next time.